Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot Card Reading for the week of August the 1st to the 8th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting readings to my circle and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy, and any answers to questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, Capricorn. Well, this is an interesting card. We start on Monday with a major card balance. I have to tell you, if you look at any of the other signs this week, this card has come up almost in every reading. And so it's telling me the theme this week is balance. And it's all about the need to balance and do everything in moderation. It's about cooperation and compromise. It's about waiting for the perfect time. This card is unbelievable. It's about not doing anything impulsive right now. Don't make any impulsive decisions and approach any life changes right now slowly. Because if you've acted compulsively in the past, now is your time to rectify that. Wait for the perfect timing. On Tuesday, you've been given an Earth card, a two of Earth, and Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and our jobs, careers, and how we bring that abundance into our lives. It can also have to do with eco, uh, the ecosystem and Mother Earth and our closest circle, our family. It's telling me right now that some of you have way too much on your plate. You're just doing everything at once right now. You're multitasking and there is the need to make a decision. When you're going to make this decision, they want you to step back and smile about it. Take a playful approach. Don't go in there with your guns blaring and be aggressive. You're going to do this. You're going to make this decision and do that and say, wow, that was easy. Why didn't I do that a while ago? Why did I procrastinate? Why did I drag my heels? Six of fire for Wednesday, crowning your week. Fire cards have to do with setting our passions and our creative juices into motion and putting that those thoughts into motion. It's about a little bit of risk taking for some, it's about adventure for others, and it's about definitely self-discovery. This is the victory card. This is a card that says there's good news on its way to the point where it shows me some of you are going to be receiving almost like public uh, recognition and or receiving an award for something that you've been working on and doing. Five of fire back to back for Thursday. This is telling me that there's some competing goals and you're going to be dealing with some bothersome details this week and it's going to cause a conflict with someone else. So heads up for Thursday, my friend. Friday, water card, our relationship card. This is the eight of water. Water cards can be romantic relationships, intimate relationships, or not. And this is telling me that some of you are in a relationship, and this card's been coming up a lot too, uh, and you're wanting to move on. You're searching for something more meaningful, and when you leave, it's going to be like a spiritual and emotional growth for you. On Saturday, you've been given the king of air. Air cards have to do with the injustice and uh, the chaos and the drama that people bring into our lives and having to make just and fair choices and decisions with other people. And it can have to do with dealing with legal issues and lawyers. You're going to have to speak your own mind with confidence and get up on your platform to do so. Defend yourself. And in order to do this, you're going to be getting groomed and uh, someone's going to guide you through this. You're going to seek out some professional advice to... Um, to help you with this. Um, you're going to have to balance your emotional and your mental um, uh, your mental ability here to step up there confidently and do that. So, you know, take a step back, take a deep breath, seek out someone's professional uh, help to guide you along the way. You know what? This is that card that talks about lawyers and legal issues, so make sure you talk to those professionals before you get up there to defend yourself. On Sunday, you've been given a water card again, the relationship card, and this is the page of water. There's going to be a new person, and this individual will be a little bit younger that's going to enter your life, and it's a relationship that's going to begin a new phase for some of you in your life. Others, I see that you're tapping into your, uh, your uh, psychic abilities yourself. They're becoming more heightened. 
tying up this reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Master's Oracle card, and you have been given energy healing. So it's telling me that some of you have the ability to attract healing yourself, to know that you can tap into Source and Universe and receive energy healing on your own. Often people that do that are, um, they believe and they manifest, they are um, meditators, they know that uh, happiness is a choice and they believe in the law of attraction. Some of you may be able to be mentors to others and teachers to others. Perhaps some of you are taking some different type of modality. Uh, you're taking Reiki healing like I did or you're taking a holistic or, or naturopath uh, different uh, venues and avenues that you want to go into uh, and a different vocation that's uh, more of a natural alternative thing. Energy healing. Everything in the world vibrates. Every living cell in our, on our planet vibrates and sends out wonderful energy. Make sure what you're sending out is positive, my friend, because it'll come back tenfold, bouncing back at you. I wish you a great remainder to today, Capricorn, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. The quote I chose today for you is, every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.